and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sandra and for today's look, I did go ahead and create my second Christmas look. I did go ahead and do a cranberry eye with a bold cranberry lip. So I hope you guys enjoy. I did go ahead and use the BH Cosmetics palette for this look. You guys will see in the video. If you guys want to see how I created this look, then just keep on watching. To get started on the face, we're going to go ahead and pick up the Nivea Men's Post Balm Shave. It looks like this. And this is in maximum hydration. Um, again, I just want to make sure that our skin is nice and hydrated. So I'm going to pick up a little bit of this onto my hand like this. And I'm just going to go ahead and rub that in. gives you a nice tacky feel which is what we want because when things are tacky like primers and everything um, your makeup will stay on next I'm gonna go ahead and pick up my luminous gold drops from revolution I'm just gonna apply a few dots onto the face and just rub it in with a beauty blender um, so that we have a glow once we set our foundation on top of that on we're gonna go ahead and start with foundation for foundation I am picking up my healthy elixir foundation by covergirl um, it looks like this and I am in the shade 742 which is medium beige and I'm just gonna go ahead and pump this to the back of my hand just a couple pumps then grabbing my elf brush I'm gonna go ahead and just pounce this on the face in this foundation because I feel it gives me medium coverage which is what I like I don't like a face that's super full coverage unless I'm going to like an event or a party um, so for like an everyday or just for even a night out that I just want some coverage I love this foundation for that and it's oil free so for oily skin it tends to work really well and I find that applying it with a brush gives me better coverage than a beauty than a beauty I'm going to be taking this one, which is by Rimmel London. It's the Match Perfection Concealer. I am doing the shade Fair, and I love this color because a little bit goes a long ways, and it's really good to highlight under the eye, which is what I want. blender and spraying it with some of the Mario Badescu rose water. I'm going to use that to blend out the concealer. Girl Pro Conceal Concealer in Toast. I'm going to go ahead and contour just a little bit so that we can start adding a little definition onto the face. we're gonna go ahead and pick up my favorite brush which looks like this and then I am gonna go ahead and also go back in with the Mario Badescu spray and spray my brush just so that it makes it easier to blend out the contour
our nose contour, we're going to take the small angled brush and we're going to go ahead and use that on our nose. we're going to go ahead and use this air spun powder I'm in the shade naturally and we're just going to go ahead and pick a little bit of that up with the beauty blender and apply it in the areas where we highlighted so that we can go ahead and set those areas we're going to go ahead and remove the excess powder so if it looks a little crazy at first just know it's part of the process that is like a contouring one like this we're gonna go ahead and pick up some of that powder and we're just gonna go ahead and clean up under our bronzer just so that it's a nice clean line let that bake we're gonna go ahead and do our brows um, at first I'm gonna go in with this LA girl pencil it's the la girl shady slim pencil it looks like this if it'll focus and it is in the shade brunette and i'm just gonna go ahead and do mainly the outer part of my brow and then fill it in with some powder towards the front that way it has more of a natural look bronze up the face I'm gonna go ahead and take this bronzer by Lisa Frank it is in bits and bronze and it looks like this and I just absolutely love the shade of this bronzer I like applying it with a stippling brush so I'm gonna go ahead and apply that and then on top of that I will be adding a second bronzer so let's go ahead and apply this one first up is this one by Mac and it is in give me Sun and it looks like this and I'm just gonna go ahead and add a little bit of this just because the other one's a little bit cooler and I do want a little bit more warmth so go ahead and use my glam glow uh, pout mud and it looks like this and it is kind of bright so I am just gonna go ahead and moisturize a little bit um, of my lips with this color just in the meantime because we are going to be using a liquid lipstick so we want to make sure our lips are nice and hydrated so now let's go ahead and remove any excess powder that we do have on our face I'm going to go ahead and pick up my shade and light double-sided brush and I'm going to go ahead and take this pointy side and just remove any excess powder from when we did the baking Go ahead and just drench her face a little bit with this Mario Badescu spray to 
lock in all of those powders and make sure it all melts into the face so we don't look too powdery and then we're going to go ahead and jump into the eyes for the eyes today the palette that i'm going to be using is this one and it is um, the Blush Neutrals 26 Color Eyeshadow and Blush Palette by BH Cosmetics. And it has a range of colors. For the look that I'm going for, I am going to be staying in this center area right there. Just because it does have all of those berry tones that I want to use today. Okay, so I did go ahead and do one eye off camera. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up this eye and show you guys how I created this look. But this is our overall look right here. And going back into the palette, I'm going to be taking the same, um, this darker purple color right here and mixing it with that one. And I'm going to go ahead and start deepening up the V on this side. And then we're going to go ahead and put this cranberry color in the center of our lid. I'm going to take some of that lighter color and I'm going to start blending out the outer V. Then for the center of the lid, we're going to go ahead and take that cranberry color from the palette and we're going to go ahead and apply that in the center of the eye and start blending that over to the outer V so that everything blends in together. little bit of shimmer in the center of the lid so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this color from the Jaclyn Hill palette and it's the only color that we're gonna use from that palette it is this color right here I'm gonna directly up, um, spray that shadow and dab my finger back in there just to see if it'll intensify a little bit of that pigment so that our lid pops My M533 brush from Morphe. I'm going to go back into the BH Cosmetics palette and I'm going to go ahead and take that color above the cranberry shade. So this one right here and a little bit of this one just to buff out the edges and blend that in. And then after we do that, we're going to go ahead and use those two same colors to do our lower lash line. professionals tapered brush it's a little one I'm just gonna go ahead and take those two colors from the palette so this one and this one and I'm just gonna run that along the lash line like this we're gonna go ahead and start adding a little more definition onto the outer part of the lash line so we're gonna go ahead and um, take those colors and then just pack it on I am gonna be taking um, this darker color from the Jaclyn Hill palette just to add a little bit of darkness onto the corner of the eye and to add a little bit of pop of color right in the center we're going to mimic what we did on the top lid. So we're going to grab that color from the Jaclyn Hill palette that's right here. And we're going to go ahead and just put a little bit of that on the center part of the eye. The BH Cosmetics palette, I'm going to go ahead and grab a little bit of this color up in the corner and mix it with this one and apply that on our brow bone and on the inner corner of the eye. highlighting the inner corner I do like to take a bone shade eyeshadow if that's what's going to go in the inner corner and I feel like applying that before you apply the highlight color really really brings it out um, it just has something to sit on and it just grabs on better so I like doing this step first and then going um, into the highlighter shade and then applying that on the brow bone
for the eyes, I'm going to go ahead and do a wing. And the eyeliner that I'm going to be using is this one by e.l.f. It's the liquid liner. And it is my favorite one from the drugstore to use. I just find that this little applicator applies the line super thin so I don't have to worry about the line being too thick. I don't wear fake lashes so the thinner the line the better um, that my lashes come through when I apply my mascara. So I'm going to go ahead and do eyeliner on this eye. is on next we're gonna go ahead and apply blush so for blush I'm gonna be taking this tart blush and it is in the color dazzled and it looks like this and it's a pretty pinky color I feel like this look is gonna be a little monochromatic so I feel a little pink on the cheeks will actually look really pretty so I'm gonna go ahead and grab that on a stippling brush and just apply that on the apples of my cheeks is done we're gonna go ahead and move on to highlighter so for a highlighter we're gonna be using the wet and wild precious petals it looks like this and I just really like this shade because it's on the champagne side and for us girls that have a tan or are naturally tan I think it really complements the complexion so I'm gonna go ahead and grab this and apply it on the high points of my cheeks just a little bit I don't like too much glow so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply a little bit of this to the cheeks to the forehead to the cupid's bow and on the nose so for the nose I'm just gonna go ahead and grab my finger and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply a little bit of that on the tip and then blend that in with a finger that doesn't have any highlighter and just kind of go back and forth between that and then on the bridge Mario Badescu spray. I'm just going to go ahead and set the face. So for my lash combo today, I am going to be using two mascaras. So the first one that I'm going to be using is the Colossal by Maybelline. And then I'm also going to be using the Lash Sensational. So these two together. I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll be right back. So now that we have coated our eyes with mascara, I am going to go ahead and set my brows. And then we're going to go ahead and move on to lips. And then to set the brows, I'm actually going to be using my Maybelline Brow Precise. You guys already know this is what it looks like, and it is in the shade Brunette. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply one coat of this onto the brows. We're going to go ahead and lip line using the NYX Suede Lip Pencil, and this is in the shade Cherry Skies. So we're going to go ahead and line our lips with this. liquid suede it looks like this and this is in the shade retro we're gonna go ahead and apply that all over the lips up the look I'm gonna go ahead and take my Milani make it last setting spray looks like this this is 16 hour wear and I absolutely love this spray um, to set my makeup so that is it for the look you guys I hope you guys enjoyed this is definitely a little bit more on the glam and bold look so if you guys are in need of something more neutral stay tuned I will be creating a look like that for you guys thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe Thank you.